As our economy tightens its inflationary hold on all of us, I've been hearing from a lot of people, is it even possible to prepare my home for sale without spending a lot of money? You bet it is. I have five suggestions that are free or very close to it. Hey all, it's Amy Darlow. Ask Amy for Downers Grove and DuPage County Real Estate. I think we all know that a lot of projects we undertake to prepare our homes for sale can be pretty expensive. And while often these projects pay off at sale, there are still a number of things you can do for absolutely free or pretty close to it. Number one, declutter. When it's time to move, it's time to start paring down your belongings. And I don't just mean shuffling a few papers around. Really go in and make hard decisions about what you're going to need in your new home and what you're not. I'm looking at you, snow boots with broken laces. Now, if you can get rid of a third or even a quarter of your stuff, you will swear you have a whole new home. Number two, organize. Now that you've gotten rid of so much, you'll have more space to actually organize your belongings. There's something so soothing to most people when there's a natural order to things. And this definitely applies inside of homes. Even homes that have not been updated for years look more modern with everything in its place. Don't have good storage solutions for your stuff? Consider ordinary cardboard boxes covered in coordinating wrapping paper or spray painted that a great shade to go with your room. Now, garage sale baskets are, are great for this too. So there are definitely cheap options out there. Number three, clean and then clean again, and then again. I can almost always sell an immaculately clean but outdated home faster than a dirty but updated one. Think about that. Buyers naturally want to know that the home was well taken care of and will use its cleanliness as a guide. Don't forget places like heating vents, ceiling fans, window blinds, and baseboards in your deep cleaning. Those can tend to be um, overlooked in routine everyday stuff, so they need to be a focus of your attention now. And spider webs, inside and out, need to be gone. Number four, depersonalize. Now this one can be hard for a lot of people, but since you've decided to move, you now must start treating your place as a product that you would try to beautifully merchandise. And that includes taking away the things that are uniquely you sometimes. And I know that feels bad, but buyers need to be able to imagine their own life in this space. So this means dresser tops full of family photos, a fridge covered in children's art, um, and most religious artifacts should be stowed safely away and they can reemerge to be highlighted in your new home. And number five, repairs. Not every repair requires a budget. In fact, many everyday items can be fixed yourself with just a few tools. Things like Recalking a bathtub or edging your landscaping beds, tightening cabinet hinges and doorknobs can really help a home to show its very best. Now, if you're starting to get serious about prepping your home for sale, let's connect for a pre-listing walkthrough. I can help you see your home through a buyer's eyes and help you create a to-do list that doesn't have to add up to big bucks. Have questions for a future show? Pop them in the comments below or DM me 
I'd love to answer them. So just ask Amy 